<clears throat> oh, hello. Welcome to Whiteland Restorations. Um, I'm glad you joined us today actually because I've got a very awkward shallow dent in the front of the bonnet to put a bit of filler in and I thought you guys might like to see it. Sounds bloody brilliant that. Bloody brilliant. Bloody Let's brilliant. Bloody well get bloody on with it then. Uh, before we start I'd like to say thank you to all the new subscribers we have. Thanks guys. Yep, you thank you very subscribers much. Subscribers are awesome. We like subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Don't forget to click that bell as well, get notifications yes. of new videos going up. And comment. Mmm. Right then. We like to hear from you, we like to hear about your projects. Maybe you have a Talbot of your own. Tell us if you do. If you don't, tell us what you've got, what you drive. <laughs> How about you show me this shallow dent? Okay. It's here. Brilliant. The end. <laughs> the end. It's, it's an it's, awkward little bugger. It is. It's very hard to see on this, this black it's... bonnet. I'll use the, the light. If you can see here. It's it, too hard to see. I don't think you're going to yeah. see it. No, it's too you hard to see. You can feel it. It's, it's definitely, there's definitely a ridge running yeah. around here. It's almost like a, a whoosh in. Yeah. Um... Maybe someone sat on the bonnet or Starsky and hutched across it, maybe. Oh, maybe. Day. That's definitely what's happened. Yeah. Yeah. So. Right. So, first, I think this ridge here just needs to come out a little bit. So, crusty panel hammer action. Reduce the old dent already. Lewis is just using this panel hammer to not. Remember when I said if I hit it with a hammer, it might get rid of the dent. Has the whole dent gone? No, there's a very shallow one there. There's a very very shallow one. <laughs> no. Uh, if I get a bit of sandpaper and run it over that, yeah, you will see the dent we're going to go on about. Like this oh. 80 is a bit too coarse. So. Right, I'm back with some 180. Not too coarse, and I'm using my big Dura block. It's nice and flexible, so it will follow the curve mm. of the bonnet nicely. So with the magic of sandpaper, this is, the, this is what Dura blocks are meant for. The, the curvy the curved stuff panels, is so yeah. good. So we should be able to show you where that dent is. You can start seeing it. It's coming out. Oh, perfect. Just Obviously, yeah. the light areas where the sandpaper is making contact, and the, the bit that's not been touched is the dink. Aye. So there you go. So, now you can see the dink. Um, obviously, I filled in some of the smaller dents around the bonnet. Yeah. The bigger dent, so we're going to have to use a bigger filler spreader in order to get rid of it in one hit. Okay? Yeah. So this will be interesting. Instead of concentrating a small spot of filler into one area. Probably skim across it. Skim across so it. You can it. see yeah. where the aluminium has been scraping. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so first things first, you've got to key it up. So and what would you key it up with? I'm going to use my trusty flatbed power sander. Whoa, with get the big tools out. Yeah. I'm not messing around. No messing. No messing. Right then. So, I've got a bit of it on it at the moment. A bit too coarse. Way too coarse. These are the Merca Iridium long strips. Love these. Don't like the meshy stuff so much. No. I know a lot of people say it's great, but I don't know. I just don't like it. I think it's too. I think it's too coarse. Yeah. Right. Anyway. Uh, Alexa, turn on extraction. That's Leanne's fault. <laughs> you love it. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah.
Alexa, turn off extraction. Right. Very handy tool. Um, Look how quick it is. Yeah, so flatbed sander, air powered flatbed sander. Is it okay to do all your filler work with one of these? No, definitely not. Um, but is it okay to rough out your filler work? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely, it's so fast. You can smash through loads of filler work with it really fast and then finesse it with a block afterwards. Mm -hmm. It's the fastest way to get it. You've still got down. to take care though. Yeah, yeah. Um, great tool. tool. Mm -hmm. It's a tool and use it properly. It's an asset. Now we can see we've got a nice uniform finish across the middle section of the bonnet and all the low spots are so easy to see now. Yeah, you can see where it's the high spots where the metal's mm -hmm. coming through and you can see the low spots where the dent is created. The really? side's much more consistent and flat. We'll fix that. So yeah, I'm just going to finish off the inside the worst parts of the dent. With some sandpaper. Yeah. We don't want any shinies because that filler has to stick to yeah. something and a shiny surface does not help. There we go. I like to mark. Um, if you're doing loads of little dents all over a car, um, so if you're sanding an area or you, you could forget where there's a dent if you sand the whole thing down, just circle it or put an X with mm -hmm. the sandpaper where the dent is and you can see exactly the mark won't where come that through. thing is. No. No. Right then. Right, that's the first stage done. Um, next stage, we need to get this dust off. Yep, clean it up. You can either air jet it, blow with an air jet or panel wipe, degrease it or get a nice microfiber and pop off all that dust. There we go, yummy. <laughs> Next, uh, make sure you've got your big filler spreader ready for action. It's so much easier than using a small one and doing blah 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 yeah. blah. You get one fell swoop. So it needs to do a dry run now. Just dragging that further down the front of the bonnet like that. Off the edge of the front. Okay. And we'll just probably just touch this. Just clean that up a bit better and then we'll um we'll go mix them together. Right, we're here uh, back at our U-Pole Fantastic. Um, we've got our filler spreader ready to go. We've got our filler board ready to go. Just double check, make sure there's no lumpy bits on there. They're gonna cause you any grief. Um, right, a good scoop of filler. A good scoop of filler for this In fact, one. When you're using big filler spreaders, you use a lot less filler. So we Isn't won't need funny? an awful mm. lot. I think that's enough? Yeah. Very okay. shallow dent. Very shallow dent. We're just doing a skim across. So Lewis is going to add his hardener, about 2%. 2%. And 2. And 2. <laughs> that's the scientific method of uh, measuring filler, you know. It is. The way I look at it is if you run out of hardener before you finish the tin, you've used too much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This is wiggly jiggly mixing method. Yeah, just lock it backwards and forwards like this. And when you get used to it, you can <laughs> do it much faster. If you think he's good at filling, you should see him out of cake. <laughs> you are all lovely. Right, we're back at the dent. We have all our tools ready. We have our filler mixed. So Nothing more to do but to uh, apply the filler. Now give it a nice thin layer over the entire area you plan to fill and a little bit more, a little bit further. Go past, yeah, go yeah. past the edges. It's always bigger than you'd think. Don't laugh at that, it's not a joke. Look at that, beautiful. beautiful. Good filler spreaders, these metal ones, very good. Yep, they'll be in our online store soon. Yes. All right, we're done with that. Just make sure there's no lumpy edges on here. 
Now you want to press down fairly firm on the corners and hold it at about a 45-ish. Just drag it over. And there we go. The filler went on very nicely with the metal filler spreader. Um, anyone would have been happy with that. But look how much filler I don't have to sand off now, thanks oh. to the big sander. Exactly. Which is handy for putting in somewhere else, or generally just for saving effort. It's less time spent trying to block it down. But you know, if you were doing the car, you would have lots of different areas prepped and you'd go around it, you know, yeah. work as quick as you can. Which is what I'm going to do, because yeah. I've got another area prepped over there. Go, go, go. I'll show the people at home this lovely, lovely surface here. So Lewis has dragged it across. As you can see, nice and uniform. We'll let that set. And then it's ready to sand. Yep, and there was another little area over here, which was um, begging me. There was a little kick down on the edge of the bonnet. So we're just, we're just going to put a tiny bit of filler in here. Like that. And take it off the edge as well. There we go. Right, so spend a bit of time, find somewhere else for the rest of this filler to go. There's plenty of other bits. You've got a couple of so. minutes working time with this. Yeah. Um, but as you can see, Lewis has made fantastic progress on the filler work on the car it's 99% done once we get the front of this bonnet done we are ready to start prepping for um, spray filler we are tomorrow tomorrow yeah so it was only yesterday we were doing the, the door alignment yeah fantastic it's looking really good but really good thank you every single imperfection Filled. Excellent. The more time you spend getting your application of the filler done nicely, the less time you spend sanding it. And let's face it, we don't all love spending all day <laughs> sanding, do we? No, we do not. But needs must. Let's wait for this to dry and then we'll come back to blocking it down. Yeah. Alright, I mixed up too much filler again. Best <laughs> to have too much and not enough. Right. Sometimes. I'm going to dispose of this and uh, do you guys make statues out of your leftover filler? Because I do. I know somebody who does. You want to see I Lewis's do. latest statue? You have to come to the mixing room. Alright, hold on. Are you sure you want to be in the mixing room? Oh, I shouldn't really go in there. Bring it out. I'll bring it out. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> it's a ducky. It's a little ducky. Some people throw their excess filler in the bin. Lewis makes little statues. You might see them dotted around the workshop here and there. Yeah, there's a really big one up there. Oh, hold on, let me see. I'm going to zoom. Made several cars. That's nearly two years worth of filler, that one. Yeah. It looks like the, the, the Ice King out of Game yeah. of Thrones. Who can tell me when I finish the head? Yeah, nobody would guess that. Nobody would guess that. Nobody would guess I'll that. I'll tell you what, if you can guess when I finish the head what car this paint came off, I might send it to you in the post. <laughs> Just the head, you evil bugger, you. The whole lovely thing, look at it. Yeah, if... Uh, it if doesn't you, want that. If you can guess when, 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 when the head was finished, you win the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Right. Brilliant. Right, go on then. This is drying. We're waiting. The filler is dry. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hopefully it will be. It will be, I can tell. So we're going to use a Duroblock again with the Merca Iridium 80 grit. Um, so yeah. Yep, use the 80 gives you a bit more meat, isn't it, to cut off, well, a bit more teeth to whatever, what am I saying? A bit it's more bite. It's more sandy. More sandy. It appears to be blunt, though. 
Yeah, it's very blunt. I shall get a fresh one. And crap. Right. <laughs> fresh. while you're blocking down? I'm looking to see the centre of the dent mm -hmm. here. You can still see the filler lines where the spreader went down through, yeah? Yep, can you see As it? soon as, can you see them? I think so, yep. As soon as I've blocked them away, I know that I've finished sanding it flat. So, and I'm blocking not in straight ups and downs, and diagonal and then opposite diagonal and opposite diagonal. So a little bit this way and then a little bit that way and the crisscross action helps cut through it nicely. Also stops you making permanent tram lines. Yeah it does. Right, that's pretty good. I'm just going to give it a... I think that's nice. Let's, let's um, do it from 180 and we'll see how... We're going to go down to the next grade. I've lost the 180. Oh my god, it was in your hand. A bit of fresh 180. Right. Yeah, I think that'll do it. Right, I don't have to be terribly bothered about all the deep scratchy lines that are in it still because the spray filler is basically filler that I'm just going to spray on top of this. So like a uniform layer over the whole lot. So there we go. There is the dent filled in anyway. So we have the dent gone. Yeah, lovely. I think we're ready to um, get the car keyed up for the next stage. I think you're right. Yeah, I think um, I think you're right. <laughs> I know I'm right. Yeah. So now what we have to do is we have to basically sand every square inch of this car up to 180. Yeah, we'll um, we'll get on with that. And we'll be back uh, for the we'll next episode see you tomorrow. Well, I'll see the camera tomorrow. I don't know when you'll see us. Um, spray filler day. For, for spray filler. Bit of masking, bit of spray filler. It's a good one. Sounds good. Right then. Next episode. Next episode. See you then, guys. Don't see forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out our merch. And see you soon. Bye. Bye.